Hey friends, how you doing? Dan here with a little tribute to Maplin in today's video. Now, for those of you who live in the UK who are into electronics and gadgets and computers, you'll be well aware of the news that Maplin, one of our longest standing high street electronic retailers, uh, declared that they were going into administration at the end of March. And actually it was uh, quite a coincidence, the same day Maplin um, announced they were going bust was the same day that Toys R Us announced it as well. So for me that was kind of a bit of a double whammy. It was like, you know, two iconic companies that have had a presence in the high street or retail parks all my life. You know, these companies have been around longer than I've been alive. Maplin opened their first store here in the UK over 40 years ago, uh, back in 1976. So it's something that's been there on the high street longer than I've been alive. And for me, it's a shop that I've always gone into pretty much since I was a teenager. So it is gonna be pretty sad to see Maplin no longer there on the high street. Now, look, hands up, I'll be the first to admit their prices are way more expensive than online retailers and you know, a lot of things in there you'd be paying way over the odds to get your hands on. But, I mean, I go back to my own personal experience with Maplin. I started going in there really when I was a teenager, and I got into maybe, you know, building PCs and that kind of thing. Um, I'd go in there to buy, like, Molex cables and CPU coolers and power supplies and that kind of thing. Because for those outside the UK, Maplin is really like our equivalent to Radio Shack. Uh, or at least it was until the proper British Radio Shack Tandy went out of business back in the late 90s or early 2000s. I've got a feeling they may still exist as an online only retailer now, uh, but Maplin actually closed their website on Monday and they're closing all of their 230 stores across the UK um, and that means 2,300 employees are going to be losing their jobs, which are really the people I feel most sorry for out of all this because I'm going to show you a little video now. I went into my local uh, Maplin here in Nottingham city centre. Now, I've lived in Nottingham for about eight years now, and I've always found the staff that are in the Maplin Nottingham City Centre branch really knowledgeable and really friendly. Whenever I've gone in there, I've always had a good chat to them. They've always really known what they're talking about and been really helpful as well. But, as I did mention, the prices in there have been way overpriced in recent years. So the only time I've really ever gone into Maplin in the last decade or so is if I've needed something last minute, uh, maybe an emergency project. For example, the other week, I was doing a interview panel in town here in Nottingham and I'd got there about an hour before the event, realized I didn't have a cable for my audio recorder. So I needed a emergency mini jack to phono cable. Um, could have got one off eBay for 50 pence from China if I'd have planned it a week or two in advance. Instead, went into Maplin an hour before the event, picked one up for 12 pounds. Now, again, I was paying way over the odds, but in that situation, I didn't really have much of a choice. And the guy that served me, he did actually kind of wince a bit at the price. He actually said, let me double check that for you. And he went, no, we are actually selling this cable for 12 quid. So often they were quite embarrassed that they had to sell these cables and you know these components for that kind of prices. And there was another time recently when I wanted to recap one of my systems. It was a Saturday, I realized I didn't really have anything to do in the afternoon. So I went into Maplin in town, bought like four capacitors, paid about four pounds for them. Again, could have got it a lot cheaper from China on eBay. But, I mean, that's the thing I keep seeing. A lot of people on Twitter and forums are saying they should have tried to compete with Amazon and eBay prices. But you've got to remember that Maplin had big stores. Generally, a lot of these were really big shops. On high streets, right in the middle of city centers, on big retail parks, in trading estates, in shopping malls. And the overheads of running those big shops with all the bills and the licenses that you need and all the staff that they had to pay, their overheads were a lot more than, you know, someone that was selling them for virtually trade prices from... Uh, you know, Asia, for example, on eBay, there's no way that Maplin could have done that and stay profitable. Um, they even couldn't do it with the prices they were charging, it seemed. So for me, I did go into Maplin, you know, knowing that it would be the last time that not only I went into my local Maplins, but it would be the last time in my life I go into one of these stores, which after going in for over 20 years was a little bit sad. And even then the prices, looking around, I mean, there were some like pretty good deal, some 50 or 60% savings, but a lot of the standard components, you know, the HDMI cables, the, the phono cables, the VGA cables, even, you know, they were still way overpriced. So the only thing I ended up coming away with was um, this Seagate NAS drive. Now Seagate are not my favorite hard disk manufacturer by a long shot, but this was meant to be 275 pounds. I had a quick look on my phone, even on eBay, they're going for about 200 quid, and they were selling these off for 80 pounds each and it included uh, two two terabyte hard disks in it as well. So I thought even if I just plug it in here and use it as a little backup device for one of my machines, it's worth having. And you can upgrade the disks and put non Seagate drives in up to around uh, 10 terabytes I think it can hold. And the kind of tragic thing is when I took that to the counter to pay for it, the guy that worked there actually said to me, 
I had my eye on that as well, but then I realized I'm not gonna have a job after Thursday, so I couldn't really warrant buying it. So, you know, what do you really say to that? I was a bit like, oh, you know, a bit apologetic, like I feel really bad for you guys. And I imagine the staff there are getting quite frustrated. Today's actually the last day of uh, Maplin in Nottingham. They're closing their doors today at the time we're recording this video on Thursday. But there are still a few open around the country this weekend, I believe. And I did see on Twitter that Maplin in Shrewsbury had actually put this uh, sign up in their window. Um, out of frustration, I imagine it was a, you know, frequently asked questions, all the stuff they must be asked, getting asked on a daily basis was kind of funny, but you know, I do kind of feel for the guys there as well. So yeah, that was really just a little video to have a little last look around Maplin really and say, you know, thanks for all the years of service. All right, you're a bit overpriced, but I for one, I'm going to miss wandering in there on a Saturday, having a little look around and the convenience factor of being able to get these components in town. Now the only option we've got really is to plan ahead and, uh, buy them off eBay from around the world and you know give yourself a couple of weeks notice before you do these projects or get Amazon Prime or something like that but I think it will be a bit sad not to have a mainstream electronics retailer on the high street so if you've got any memories of Maplin did you like it did you go there recently what was your local Maplin like leave your memories in the video comments if you like my videos please click that subscribe button as well I'm trying to make videos a bit more regularly these days too so hopefully they'll be popping up in your feed over the next couple of weeks so thank you for watching have a good weekend and I'll see you in the next vid